Darcy is now hiding another one of Georgie's big secrets, and y'all, it is not looking good for Darcy and Georgie. Guys, here is the deal. On the last episode of Darcy and Stacy, we got to see Stacy tell her parents, also, you know, Darcy's parents, all this crap that's going on behind the scenes with Darcy and Georgie, and it's starting to actually kind of annoy me. Guys, basically, long story short, Georgie does not have a job, number one. He has no interest in getting a job, number two. And number three, he has literally, like, no means or even not even wanting to try to help support the family. So they say. It's very bizarre and very strange because then it got twisted and we got to hear Georgie's side of the story and it was very different. But let's go back and talk about what Darcy and Stacy are saying because Darcy, she's been kind of teetering and tottering and picking and poking on the idea about how Georgie is kind of helping but he's not really helping. And I knew something had to be going on because she wouldn't really say yes or no. And I don't, you know, Darcy, not, Darcy wants to act like everything's sunshine and rainbows and it's amazing. But the way she was talking, I could just kind of tell there must be something going on. And then she made the comments, if you don't know, in the last episode, two episodes ago, to her friends about how Georgie was kind of hiding some money. It was like $1,400 in cash. He had it and rolled up in a sock. It seemed kind of strange. But it was actually Stacy that confronted Darcy, and Darcy didn't, did not deny a word of it. She confronted Darcy in front of their dad and just said, listen, he's not paying for anything. He is entitled. He doesn't want to get a job. you know." And then Darcy was kind of like, yeah, I am paying all the bills. Like to me, you're paying all of the bills. And then she went on to say, you know, he's not really trying to get a job and he's saying the pandemic, but it's like, he's not trying to get a job whatsoever. And then that is when her dad had to sit down with Georgie and just say, listen, I heard about the rolled up money and I heard that you aren't really trying to get a job. You aren't really trying to do anything. And that's when Georgie was like, wait a second. I roll, you know, the, the money story was just stupid. He claims that he pulled out some cash and he never really said why. He said he pulled out some cash to give to Darcy, but it's like, if you want to give her money, you could have written her a check. I mean, you could have venmo a like Venmo definitely exists, but yeah, I guess, I guess, let, let's just say that's true. He wanted to give her some money, so he pulled out cash. Skeptical, but it could be true. Let's say he does that. Then he, he claims that then she didn't want the money. We never heard Darcy ever say that, but he claims that he gave her the money. She said, I don't want it. I don't need it. If that is true, then Darcy's kind of full of crap. But he has it. He said she didn't want the money, so he took the money. It was on a Sunday, so the bank was closed. He put it in a sock so he wouldn't lose it. And then months and months and months went by, and then it was like then he then you know she found the money and she freaked out and she forgot that he offered to give it to her. Huh? It just seems like a lot of weird things that wouldn't really ever make any sense. Like right, like, let's couple you guys think. Like, obviously, we know Darcy is she kind of you know she's a fibber of some sort. She definitely kind of says stuff that a lot of the times isn't very true, but I don't think she's like a pathological liar, and we don't know Georgie if he's a liar or not, but to me, that story of how he tried to give her money, and she didn't accept it, and then now she's running around. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's possible. Darcy, we know Darcy loves to make stuff up, so the money story is strange. I would just love for Darcy and Georgie, the two of them, to sit together and talk about it on camera, and then we can just hash everything out on camera. So that story is not very shocking, but the story of how he's not paying a bill, and he's not trying to get a job and he's not trying to do anything to me is just kind of like oh you guys that is not looking good for the two of them because what's going to make the guy want to get a job if Darcy's is going to continue to pay all the bills and pay for their rent and pay for the food and pay for everything else when is Georgie going to get a job? And the interesting thing is he did say in the upcoming episode that he quit his job to move to Connecticut with Darcy. So maybe there's some truth to that, but it's like, still, you moved, now get a new job. And so I guess you can blame the pandemic, you can blame this, you can blame that. But I do kind of think if you want to support your family, like Georgie's claiming that he wants to, you would just, you would get a job doing literally anything. So I don't know if there's more going on behind the scenes, but to me, the fact that this guy doesn't, you know, doesn't have a job, doesn't want to get a job, to me, it just kind of seems fishy. But comment below what you guys think. I don't see this going much longer. I think they're just going to end it. And I don't, yeah, I mean, if he if he is not willing to actually step to the plate and he's going to be all entitled and lazy and not want to do anything and just have Darcy take care of him, then yeah, I, I just, I do not see this working out, y'all. And I kind of think he's hiding something too. And I know you guys are probably going to get so mad at me, but it's like, I do. I think there's more going on behind the scenes. And if you kind of think about it, it kind of makes sense. Has she ever met his family? Has she ever even talked to his family on the phone? Has she ever met his friends? We know that for a fact, no. Has she ever talked to his friends on the phone? I wanna say no. It just seems like he keeps his personal life way miles and miles and miles away. And Darcy's, you know, we all know Darcy. So it's like, what is he hiding? And the other thing too is why can't she meet his family and friends? And if she can, 
it's just, it's kind of like, why hasn't she then? So it just seems kind of weird. She is going to meet, you know, his friends. We got to see in the upcoming episode, which that'll be very interesting to see. But the thing is, he seemed kind of standoffish. He went back to his old place. If you don't already know, he was renting a room in DC still. And then finally he was just like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, in the lease, all that kind of stuff. So he had to go and go and grab his stuff. But then he wouldn't let her inside. Like, it's just so weird. Like, it just seems like he's hiding something. What is it? I think it's a couple of things. I think number one, he acts like he's all Mr. Fancy, this, that, you know, got all this money kind of stuff. And I don't think that's the case whatsoever. No shame, nothing wrong. You know, I mean, that's not, that's not a bad thing. He doesn't have any money. But I just think, I think he wants to put on a show that he's rich and he's got all this stuff. But when, in reality, we saw the room he was renting and it was just a normal look house. It wasn't some mansion or anything. So I think he might have kind of put on a show for Darcy when they were first meeting about the money and the clothes and all this stuff. And then the other thing I think too is he might be kind of just embarrassed by her because she is loud. She is all over the place emotionally and so maybe he's just too embarrassed to introduce her to his mom and dad and his friends, which if that is the case, they have no business getting married. The other possibility too, I will say, is maybe he's just using her 100% just for the money and like, like oh, cause you know, that, that's what's going on now. She's paying for everything. She's buying him clothes. Maybe he's just using her for that, and when he gets all that stuff, he's gonna run off, and that'll be it. So, y'all, Darcy and Stacy, Georgie, I liked him. I think he's kind of funny, but I'm starting the whole work thing, honestly, that really rubbed me the wrong way. I think if you want to take care of your family, you're gonna make it happen. You could go get go get a job at McDonald's for you know what I'm saying? It's like go do make something happen. And for him just to sit at home all day. That really rubbed me the wrong way for sure. And I think Darcy honestly so desperately wants to get married to keep up with Stacy. And so I think she would just do anything. Even, even if she saw a red flag, like the money stuff or this or that, she's never gonna ever confront it because I think she just wants to get married that desperately bad. But yes, we gotta see Georgia talk to Darcy's dad and he's uh, he's you know kind of confrontational guy. Like he didn't really hold back. He just straight up told him this and this and this. And he, he said it in kind of a professional way, but he didn't hold back at all. And Georgie kind of came up with some answers that honestly, y'all, they didn't seem very true. But they were all answers that could be fact-checked and that probably will be fact-checked. This whole story with the money, the this, the that, it'll get brought up again. We can, we, can, we can more than likely figure out if it was true or not. And if he lied, then he's a liar. If not, then the guy's a you know, perfectly fine guy, whatever. So we gotta see that. We gotta see Stacy and Florian. They're fine. They were talking about having a baby. That's the next big thing. And you know, Florian's mentality and motto is kind of just like, if God wants us to have a kid, we will. Whereas Stacy wants to go to the doctor and do this because she's not getting any younger. And so they, they, they were definitely butting heads. Um, they're a bizarre couple. I think he has a legitimate, he just, I don't, he kind of has a temper. And then Stacy, I think you can, you can do anything to Stacy and say anything you want and she doesn't seem to ever really care. So yeah, they, they, um, yeah, they're a fine couple, whatever. We got to see Darcy's kids and that was actually kind of an interesting thing. I've been saying this all season. What is the deal with her kids? Where are they living? Now I know that they do go into their dad. I mean, you know that for a fact. Their dad has custody. So they go back and forth between the dad and Darcy. But Darcy moved out and got an apartment with Georgie. So that's why I was kind of like, what is the deal? But now we can confirm they actually got a two bedroom apartment. And so now her kids are going to be moving in with her and Georgie. And that seemed kind of fake. It, well, what I think is going on is this. The kids are like 14, 15 years old. They definitely can't drive. And so I think what is happening is their grandparents, the grandpa and the grandmother, I think are just raising these kids. When the kids go to the dad's house, they know that's that. And then I think when they go over to you know Darcy, the mom's house, I think the majority of the time, honestly, you guys, Darcy's is off with Georgie. And I think a lot of the time, you know, the, the grandparents are raising them. And I think some of the time, maybe like 20% of the time, when Darcy has custody, she's probably over there. And Georgie, maybe he kind of swings by. But, you know, I guess the dad does not want any of these men living in his house, which, which is fine. It makes sense. And so that's why they had to get their own place. But it didn't seem like they were moving in like Darcy and Georgie did. But the two girls, they came over and then she was saying, you know, this is where you guys are going to be living. But it's like, they didn't bring any clothes. They didn't bring anything. And I have a very hard time seeing them just packing up everything to move into a two bedroom apartment where they, they literally have to share a room with each other. Like it just, it doesn't seem real. So it kind of seemed fake. And I don't know if she just felt worried that people are gonna realize it's like, you're probably not spending a lot of time with your kid. You know, your kids, if you're running around with this random Georgie guy, Darcy. But I actually like the grandpa. I think he's a nice enough guy. I like the grandma too. I do think that he is really helping raise these two kids. Darcy and Stacy are off doing Lord knows what. And yeah, I would just live my life a lot differently. I'm not gonna lie, if I was Darcy, I wouldn't go and get an apartment in the same city where I live and, and pay for it. And I would just, I would take it slower with Georgie, which I know, 
why am I even saying this, but it's like, she just seems to rush it so much. She got another apartment. She has a place to live. She still has kids. If anything, it's like, just casually date Georgie, maybe do a little bit of long distance, kind of. And then once your kids turn 18, then you can talk about when they're out of the house, then maybe you move or he moves or whatever. But it's like, you have kids to raise that are like 14, 15 years old, spend time with them. They kind of spend time with the kids. Like we got to see Darcy and Stacy uh, go snowboarding with you know her two kids because one thing I do want to say is Stacy's kids they're not on the show. They're not even mentioned on the show. So yeah, we got to see Darcy's two girls go snowboarding with them, and it was kind of stupid and scripted, and it was kind of funny. I don't know why I think the show is so funny. It was kind of funny, kind of. And then last but not least, we got to see Darcy and Stacy get their hair totally redone. We finally got to see it without any extensions or any of that kind of stuff. Number one, it's about it's not it's about this long. It's not very long. It's a complete rat's nest and it had a gray spot here and a this and a brown and all this stuff and you could really kind of see their natural hair kind of coming out and then they ended up getting that dyed to blonde and they got blonde extensions and now they're seeing you know, the hair is about down to the floor. So yeah, their hair, it looks hilarious. They are not very natural. You know, we, we all know them. They are definitely into, you know, changing their appearance. Well guys, Darcy and Stacy, pretty good episode. I'm really wishy-washy about this, uh, you know, Georgie thing. I just, something in my gut tells me it's just, I don't I don't think it's going to be good. So, guys, yeah, uh, I'm just, yeah, I don't know. I, I yeah, the, the working thing really kind of, you know, and I get it, it's pandemic, you know, but still, hey, you want to take care of your family. The pandemic's been going on for about a year at this point because this was filmed around, like, you know, Christmas time, spring. So, it's been going on for a minute now. You can go and go get a job and do something different and make things happen for the short term. Then, you know, when everything gets back to normal, you can go back to your normal work. But for him to sit around all day, I'm just not a fan of that. But either way, y'all, comment below, you guys. Thank you. Please hit that like button in the comments below. Hit the subscribe, follow, share button. Y'all better stay tuned for many more videos.